So, since we're heading into Martinsville, like, this weekend, um, the whole, I know the story from last time we were there, playoff, um, it was playoff time, several drivers going for the final force spot, so it was the Chase and Denny uh, feud part dose at Martinsville. So, NASCAR has been posting about it, of course, and people, some people are like, let's just get over it, stop posting about it, it's in the past, and I'm like, every track we go to, there's some kind of feud that happened like 20, 30 years ago that they're going to bring up, and no one's going to say crap about that, but when they bring this up, they're like, get over it, so stop being hypocrites. Um, every track has a feud between some kind of driver or whatever. Um, so NASCAR and NBC posted the, like, I guess, like radio communications of that incident. And yeah, some people are not very bright with their comments. Some people are like, Chase could be um, pushed into the wall and wreck out and da -da -da by Denny and like, so what? So what Denny did is okay to you? Wrecking people on purpose for your advantage is not okay. <laughs> um, I get it's racing, but that's just not how you race to win. He was a coward and didn't want to race Chase properly. They had no problems beforehand, and now they do. So, so every time they're next to each other, there's some kind of tension. Um, so... Martinville is going to be fun. Hendrick's supposed to be pretty good at that track. Uh, Chase is really good at that track now. Um, hopefully we can just beat Denny and like rub his face in it. If, if we finish, just finish better than him or win the race. If we win the race, then we can rub in his face by being like, it's just the best kind of revenge right there beating you at your own track <laughs> your own home track I should say that people booed you at last time um but yeah like we were in my group where we were talking about uh Chase being all fired up and whatnot and find that was like the worst I've seen like him being like that mad because it takes a lot for him to be pissed off and he, when you do, you know you've done something wrong and you're about to get your ass kicked. Whether it's just getting confronted or getting raced the way you, you just raced him. So Phoenix was prime example. <laughs> you mess with Chase, you're going to get put in your place. <laughs> so um, I'm excited about this weekend. See how that goes. Got the trucks back on track. No Xfinity. This week so it's just trucks and cup cup doesn't get on track until Saturday with practice and qualifying I believe now yeah, that's the case um, trucks will be on track Friday for their practice sessions and all that um, but yeah uh, what was I gonna say oh last video I wanted to talk about um, Bush's, Kyle Bush's, like, meltdown on Twitter, where he spent, like, hours, like, replying to haters when he's the one coming back with childish responses and acting like he's such a Mr. Tough guy when, like, he gets upset over the littlest things, like, dude, you've heard bad crap about you for the majority of your career so why is this any different um you put this on upon yourself and you act like it's new to you so um and he cuts butt hurt for just finishing like second or third but you gotta realize he's finished since then the top five and top ten four weeks in a row 
Heck, if my driver had that kind of run, I would not be upset at all. It may not be a win, but I would not be upset about it. <laughs> my driver's season hasn't started off the way I wanted it to, so. My case of season started out with getting wrecked out um, at Daytona and wrecked out at Vegas. Having one top five at Phoenix, which was our best finish of the season so far. And then a top 10 at Atlanta. We had to get all the points back from after Phoenix since they penalized us for some stupid reason. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, and California did not go go well for him. He finished 16th. So we need like a long stretch of good finishes and... Hopefully a win this weekend would be great. That track owes him, owes Chase big time. So, several tracks owe him big time. Um, other than that, Kyle should be grateful for the run he's on. He's in good equipment, so he shouldn't be bitching and whining. He's had one bad finish, which was Daytona. Because he always has bad finishes at Daytona. It's pretty funny, actually. Um... But, so far we had one Chevy win, when that was Austin Dillon for the 500, and then three <sighs> wins for Harvick in a row, one that didn't count, so two with, and then one with an asterisk next to it, um, and then a Toyota, I wanted to keep Toyota as I would figure it out as much as possible, but that didn't happen, so. But what's funny and kind of annoying is that right after Truex won, it's like, is this another um, championship run because of one dominant race? I'm like, it's, first of all, the fifth race of the season, and he only dominated one race. But yet, Harvick wins three in a row, and no one says anything about that. Like, no one says anything, but, oh, this is a championship run. This is going to be a championship run for him. Um, but when it's true, it's like, he's going for another championship. I'm like, can we calm down? Just calm down. He's, this is just too, way too early in the season for a championship run. He won one race. One. We're going into the sixth race of the season. We need to chill. He's not good at Martinsville, so he's not going to win there. Then we go to Texas. And I think, I don't know, I don't know the other two, but I won't be there. I won't be here for the races, a couple races after that. So, um, other than that, that's all I got. So... I'll do a review video on Martinsville next week when I get a chance. So, hope you guys have a good hump day and having a good week. So, see you guys later.